Welcome back to the show. Well, Andrew Chan and Myurin Sukumaran are now spending their first night in a cell on Nusa Kambangan Island as they wait to hear when they will be executed. We're joined now by a friend of the pair, Pastor Christy Buckingham. Christy, good morning to you. It's obviously been a, a fairly harrowing 24 hours for you. I'm wondering what it was like for you watching that footage over the course of yesterday. Well, Lisa, I will tell you that when I saw those tanks, my heart sank and I just thought you clearly have no idea who you're going to pick up. Such as the reform of these boys, they could have been taken by taxi. Uh, they are just, uh, you know, they were so gracious. Um, the guards have told me that, um, you know, they were smiling and grateful, not smiling in a frivolous way, but in a, a thankful, respectful way. And I am so proud of them. Uh, the newspapers around the country today are fairly united in describing this as complete case of overkill. They didn't need this show of strength, but this is all about President Wododo sending a message. Yes, and I'm not quite sure what the message is because clearly we have been explaining uh, the reform, but it looks like it has not registered or certainly not registered to the degree. And uh, it, it, the message, you know, is that we are going to show incredible power. And I would have thought power comes uh, in wisdom, consideration, in thinking through things, in granting, uh, you know, looking at how mercy could be applied in a situation like this. Let the boys live, let them serve their lives, serving the Indonesians. We saw family members um, turning up yesterday before they were transported from the prison. What do you know of what happened there? Did they believe that they were going to get to see them before they were transported? Well, Lisa, we took in good faith the word of the prosecutor that they would be uh, transferred at noon. And therefore, the family members were uh, entitled to see them in the, in the morning. So that was an incredible shock. In one way, it was an incredible shock, and in another way, it was fairly predictable that things would not run uh, according to schedule. What happens now in terms of family members being able to see them before uh, they're executed? Do they still have access, and, and who does and who doesn't have access? Well, Lisa, there still is this margin. Uh, just because they're in, in, on the island uh, does not mean at this point, because they have not been given their 72-hour notice, uh, does not mean that it is definitive that they will be executed. Um, there is still the possibility, and we are still pleading, and at very high levels, uh, behind closed doors, there are uh, negotiations and conversations, probably better word than negotiations, going on uh, pleading for mercy, pleading to stop this, the, the urgency of this. And uh, we are hoping that they will look at it. We are hoping that they will look at the legal cases that are still in play, that are still to play out and not execute these men before that. Christy, you would know that there's a significant number of Australians who feel that this is a message that needs to be sent, who feel that when you traffic in drugs in a country like Indonesia, you know the risks and that many families have suffered over the years because of drug trafficking. What is your message to them in the coming days as we watch this unfold? Well, Lisa, I have also worked alongside families um, that have picked up bodies um, from overdoses and all of them would say categorically that losing another life does not solve this problem. Uh, as we can see, the, the death penalty is not a deterrent. It might frighten people, but it doesn't stop. And there is a very big difference between scaring and stopping. And I think we need to look at the systemic problems behind drugs uh, and from there uh, actually send a message to people that uh, we need to get below Low the problem and not just stop it or try to stop it at the top because it's not working. All right, Christy Buckingham, we thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you, Lisa.